Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to RimWorld 40k Season 4. So, our main goal is still to fix our food problem and try to get all of the research done so I can call, I can get a comms console that will allow me to contact, um, basically the rest of our allies, because it doesn't feel right to have a Tau Enclave, uh, without Kroot. I mean, they should be here. And... I am probably also going to make full use of the Imperial gear because I just noticed. I'm sure you guys have noticed it already as well. Uh, I can't even put... I can't put Tau armor on my humans. So I'm going to need to make uh, Imperial war gear for them. So there's that. It also occurred to me going into this episode today that... <laughs> uh, with the two playthroughs we have going through right now, the Tau and the Orcs... It is our orcs that are in a better position food-wise. How messed up is that? That the orcs are doing better than the... Nope. Don't want to do that. That the orcs are doing better than the Tau. Now, in defense of the orcs, I will say that... Um, they are eating anybody who raids them. So, that probably has a lot to do with why they have a surplus of food. So, yeah, we'll see if that we'll see if that makes a difference. Uh, let's go ahead and just un get these guys moving so I can actually use them or put them to use and get their bodies out of the way so my people aren't getting all ticked off at me because there's corpses everywhere. I mean, it's not my fault. The corpses are here because they started the fight, not me. Yes, dig the graves. And then fill the graves. Yep, get them all up out of here. I don't even know what to do with a blizzardisk. Hey, look, the graveyard's done. Where are you going? About to say, dude, you could just go through this. Dangerous food type. Okay, why did you eat the chicken egg? Uh, probably because you're starving. And the rest of our crops are not ready, although we do, we are very close to getting a bunch of rice and a ton of, all right, Aranis, what's going on? What's your problem? Mm. Rotting corpse. Okay, well, the rotting corpses have been dealt with, dude. You should not be irritated by it anymore. We buried that stuff. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we're going to have to just keep expanding this uh, so I can get a few more crop types. I did get straw I did decide to grow strawberries because I believe those have a mood buff. Uh, lentils because they're meat replacements. Uh, potatoes because they grow fairly quick. They're a good balance like because rice grows very quickly for those of you who don't play this game or who are considering getting into the game. Rice grows very quickly, but it doesn't give you a lot. There's not a there's not a high yield. Uh, corn takes a long time to grow compared to the other crops, but you get a ton of stuff from it. And potatoes are like the middle ground. That's why it's like your default crop. So, the more you know, right? <laughs> Alright, so. Research has slowed down. I don't know why. Let's take a look at our researchers. Ah, plant cut and growing is your number one job. Well, the plants are done. Minty. What else do you do, Minty? Handling the animals. So you're training the animals. Gotcha. I think I'm going to make uh, Andissimus a researcher. As well. That should help, having a third researcher who can jump in. Dude, there is plenty of food. Go eat it. Man, our animals are going to town on our food stocks. That's probably why we're always getting the low food count and the starving. Man. Yeah, just eat those lentils raw, I guess. Alright, we have two days of food in storage. Oh my god. Well... That corn will be done soon. Seriously, Aranus? Final straw was darkness. There is light in every room. 
Yeah, what's what's this darkness? <clears throat> the only dark room is the fridge. You make no sense. Eight raw food, darkness. All right. Eight without a table. Again, we have a table. I think I might have to... The rooms are big enough and the rooms are fairly empty. I think I might have to put, like, little dining areas in each room to keep them... Um, so they'll actually bloody well eat. He's kind of annoying. Maybe they're complaining about this room over here. Let's build another lamp and let's just put it... You know what? Let's put it right here. That might fix it. Now, the unsightly environment, I wholeheartedly agree with my people. That is just nasty. I don't know if I have a primary cleaner. I do not. I have a cook. Okay, so next person we get is going to be, by necessity is going to be a janitor. Whether he likes it or not, we need a janitor. Badly. Alright, we are about to get a bunch of corn. Strawberries are getting there. Okay, cool. I think I think our food's going to start stabilizing. Slowly but surely, I think the food's going to start stabilizing. Sure, the, do the animals are plowing through the corn like you wouldn't believe, but... It kind of needs to be done anyway. Did I ever add a bill for you to just make kibble? Because I would really prefer that our people... What's the difference between bulk kibble and four kibble? I mean, sure, dude. Make me bulk kibble. No. Okay. You know what? A thousand kibble. If you can, if you can pull off a thousand kibble. I mean, I'll give you... I'll let you do it. No, well, I'll let you use eggs and insect jelly. I don't care. Use whatever it takes. I re the problem here, though, is I wish we had more wildlife. Uh, let's build... Let's do imperial agriculture. But yeah, if there were more wildlife here, I would unleash the dogs to hunt because I do have a mod that allows us to... Unleash the dogs to just go hunt on their own. Um, yeah, I don't really want the desiccated uh, narlocks and uh, animal or insects. That's just fine. You guys can keep that. Thank you. I mean, we're stabilizing, kind of. Good lord. Tau combat helmet's done. Excellent. Excellent job. Also, I just finished Imperial Construction. Does this give me... Does it give me an Imperial... Like, does it give me another communications bench is the question. Uh, so far, the answer is no. I can make a small Imperial generator. Don't know why I would do that when it requires Ceramite. Those are my shield generators. Good, good. I should really be putting in these nano hives as well, or nano hive regenerators. Nope, normal comms consoles. Yeah, no, still not here. We shall continue to work towards it though, because we need it. I want the ta I want the crute, and I want a few tau. Imperial agriculture. Uh, well, there's the Inquisition. Imperial Refinery, maybe we need to, maybe we need Ceramite and how to make Ceramite and learn how to make Ceramite to do that. I have no idea. Okay, I kind of feel like I need to grow some crops outside. I know it's too cold right now and we are out of food again. Son of a... Okay, the corn's coming in. We still we have one day's worth of food and storage. That is not good, guys. I would really like to see a animal migration sometime soon. 
please. Also, what crops did we get? Because it said we can now make um, imperial, like with the a imperial agriculture. I'm curious. Uh, so far, everything looks normal. Except for that recap. That is essentially 40k coffee. What is Agrilux, though? Purple mushroom, its size and glowing protrusions make this fungus beautiful to look at. Dies when exposed to light. Okay. Sure. Uh, let's learn more mid-grade ceramite. Yeah, I'm just going to keep looking at this, because I've been told that this is where the uh, communication center to get more people comes into play is from the Imperial Research. So I don't know which one, and I'd like to pinpoint which one does it. So we're just going to keep on... Keep on looking for it. Still not there. So we'll, after this research, we'll check again. I'm almost wondering if it's going to be under, um, how much food do we have? Oh, we're, we're doing all right now. It's still only two days of food production, but we got more rice coming. Potatoes will be hitting fairly soon. Okay, okay. Thankfully. I do feel like this needs to be expanded a lot more, and the easiest way to expand it ugh, is probably to fight our way into this. Psychic drone, sure. I just don't know that we're ready to go into this. But no time like the present, right? I feel like the first people to go in should have like the burst rifles. Just basically open up on whatever's in there. Oh, this is going to be bad. All right, so here's how I plan on doing this. I want you to... Where's my actual targeting button? Just hit the ads, right? Just hit this. I'm gonna have you shoot this. I'm gonna have you. This may be a big mistake and I am very nervous. But yeah, I'm gonna have our dudes actually just uh, blast holes in the walls. And then they can use the holes as cover. Go for it, guys. I mean, okay, no, 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 dudes. No, 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 no. Uh, clear home area. You guys do not repair this wall. Jesus. Well, that didn't work as planned. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Nope. Get out of there, dudes. Dude, I appreciate your attempts. You as well. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Everybody needs to fire. How you doing? Uh-oh. This was indeed a mistake. Holy crap. How many of you bastards are there? Yeah, he's apparently not enjoying this. Do we have him stun locked or something? Who needs rescue? Michael. Really? Oh, he is down. Okay. Okay, cool. Everybody who's drafted be undrafted. That went better than I was expecting it to. Uh, somebody want to rescue him? Anybody? <laughs> Alright, let's pick up this stuff. That went 
All right, I guess. I mean, not not great, but it worked out. So now we can clear it. We can open up all this crap later on. For now, we're going to leave it alone. We dealt with them. We cleared out a nice little uh, room. What is that? Resurrector Mech Serum. Oh, if I do lose somebody. Uh, help. Mid-grade Ceramite. Thank you. I'm actually somewhat curious if, um, like I said, the Inquisition is what gives us access to the comm console. So let's just go through. And I actually don't know what menu it shows up under either. Because it's really not a comms console. I... I've been saying comm console, but it's not. It's a it's a different type of beacon, I believe. Uh, that's still a big no. All right. Look at that, though. We made it. You lose a limb? No. You made it through fairly well. Nobody lost any body parts this time. Good. Nice. Very, very nice. I'm glad we finally got that cleared out, because having it lurking in our base was... I felt was a bit of a problem. <laughs> Alright, Michael went and got his weapon back. which is his pulse rifle. Man, that laser, I think it was the ion cannon. Like the burst cannon was amazing, but I think the ion cannon is what basically saved us. Okay. So to supplement our food in the short term, all these outdoor areas that we were already using earlier in the game for crops are now going to be turned over to corn. Okay. Uh, where's the terraforming? I want rich soil. Oh, lordy. I can do rich soil across everything. You know what? We're going to do a big field down here. It's not as good as hydroponics at all. I don't want to do that right there. Yeah, it's not as good as hydroponics in the slightest. But it'll give us some pretty nice uh, spots with which to actually make some decent food. And after we get caught up on the food, most likely with hydroponics, uh, I think I am going to convert these over to like trees or something. But for now, they will be a very good addition to our food supply. Because then I'm going to till all this soil, and then I'll add whatever I want. Good lord, sc Screak. That was awesome, how fast he's actually mining. Damn, leave all the mining to Screek. Holy crap. Who knew that that's what, you know, uh, Vespids were good at? Jesus. Yeah, I'm starting to think it's not the Ceramite line. I think... I don't know, I got a gut feel. Ooh, Terminator armor. I got a gut feeling it's Inquisition. Because I don't really think it makes any sense for it to be under turrets. Yeah, no, I don't think it does. Whoa. Oh, we're that close to finishing it, huh? Cool, where'd the researchers go, though? Okay, we are... Nice. Uh, let's... You know what? Just for my gut feeling, let's work our way towards... Wait, I need gene seed implantation first. Oh, orbital requisition. Where is that? Oh, it's right there. That is not Inquisition. It's covered. 
It's orbital requisition. Son of a... I should have, like, paid attention. So, yeah. Orbital requisition. There you go, guys. <laughs> Animal starvation. Uh, is there no food to harvest for them? All right, we're probably going to lose the chicken. Yeah, I need these big fields out here. I know they're not, as, like I said, I know they're not anywhere near as efficient as an actual, as the hydroponics, but at least it'll be faster. Oh my god, also, I remembered. Somebody in the comments let me know, and I greatly appreciate it, that our dudes are fully capable of walking across hydroponic um, trays. So, I am going to fill this up. Yeah, we're gonna greatly increase our yield. Okay, I didn't actually want to put that one there, though. This is gonna require a lot of power, so I think I'm probably gonna need more generators to make this happen. Now we have a person starving. That sucks. A lot of people starving. Good lord. Um, Potatoes! Potatoes are almost here. And we are building orbital requisitions, so we'll be we'll be good there shortly. All right, so what are we growing down here? Devil Strand. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to do Devil Strand down here anymore. You know what? Yeah, we will do Devil Strand. What am I thinking? Can I no longer do Devil Strand? No, I can't. I'm going to build, I think since we have that big field going in out here, like this one up here, I think this will be cotton for the short term. But either way, with this, I am all out of time for today. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suit you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more RimWorld 40k Season 4, where it looks like we're going to get us some Kroot. Finally, I've been waiting for the Kroot. Because, yeah, we'll get that researched and we'll build it at the beginning of the next episode and just call in our first requisition, provided we have the resources to call one in. Because I don't know if I have to pay for the recruits. I would imagine. Either way, we'll see. Thanks again for watching, guys.